hey it's the dice and today we are going to be spinning a wheel to see what aesthetic we make these three identical teen bedrooms i am obsessed with spin the wheels and i am not afraid to admit it it's a healthy obsession and that's okay so um yeah these will be uploaded to the gallery my id is in the description let's bring the spin the wheel up so i can show you guys the different aesthetics i've got this is not the usual site i would use but uh this one had a good selection of aesthetics and I added a few of my own just because we're doing decor not like a sim by the way if you guys want more build videos let your girl know if you have any suggestions for videos let me know in the comments below but okay let's do our first spin what are we gonna get <gasps> oh fairy tale what does that even mean oh my gosh I'm obsessed <gasps> Look how pretty! Oh my gosh! I know we're not supposed to be looking at Sims, but I am in love. It's just so, like, magical! Okay, wait, let's have a look at the decor. Oh, wow! This is someone's bedroom? Okay, that's gorgeous. I'm gonna be taking inspiration from some of these photos. So now let's go back into game and try and like replicate something like this. So each of these rooms are identical. I tried to give it like a cool shape, you know, make it less boring. Now, if we're going to do fairy core, I can add platforms or like walls and stuff, but I'm going to try and not get rid of any walls. So I definitely, let's add some lights so we can see what we're doing. I definitely want the bed to be like in the corner. Oh, I could put the bed over here actually. You know, no, we'll, we'll save this bit for like, windows and like a bench or something i want the bed to be like the centerpiece we could do a single bed but i do there's a lot of space i want a double oh yeah it has to be this one this one's gorgeous maybe not in that colorway well no we could do this one we've also got this one but this one does look a little too islandy what if we do the realm of magic one and we give it lots of green accents because this aesthetic has a lot of green there wasn't really like a green swatch that i liked there's this one but it's very rich and i feel like the fairy core like decor style is very soft we'll do one wall with like the tree foresty vibe wallpaper and then the rest we'll keep white for now but definitely subject to change i wish we could change the color of this wallpaper that would be cool flooring no <laughs> is brown carpet weird that is weird okay we'll do a black oh look how pretty this is it doesn't really make sense because there's already a cover on the bed so the bed really doesn't need this one but it's so cute how tall are these ceilings by the way we'll make them short ceiling ah oh my gosh this has to be the bed look how look how like magical that looks okay sorry this bed's gonna have to go okay lots of fake greenery that is for sure maybe just one wall just fake vines or is that kind of scary no that's good oh i need a door and i need uh windows that's literally what i should have been doing from the get-go i definitely want windows over here um what kind of windows though these these aren't bad i should probably change like the actual lights i don't know whose parents are buying their teen child a chandelier okay let me try and lay out this room a little bit better because it's actually really big so you walk in, so you walk in from here. This area could have like a really cute rug just tucked underneath the bed because you can only access the bed from this way. Oh, a cute little fireplace. Oh, we have to. Oh, we need somewhere where we can get changed as well. Is a fireplace too much? No, we can do like the changing area over there. This can be like the reading, hanging out by the fireplace nook. And this can be like the reading, looking out the window nook. Is this too extra? Ooh, where can I put these? Should I have like a separate changing area? And then these like kind of lead into it. Ooh, so many ideas. So what if like I build this wall to here? So the, the bed is super cozy in this little nook. This as like the changing area. I'm gonna get rid of those walls in a second. Is that kind of ugly? That is kind of ugly. And it also defies logic. <laughs> oh, what if I add this? Will this make it a little bit better? Hold up. This is actually turning out kind of cool. I was not expecting it to look this cool. Oh, some butterflies. We could do them around the door. I was going to put a light switch here because, you know, they're new, but it's not as important. All right, what sofa should we have here? Just like a nice seating area. I'm thinking... I actually don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe... Th no, that's not magical enough. Well, actually, we could do 
do this. This looks so comfy. This is a really big teen's bedroom, by the way. Like this is this is a rich teen's bedroom. We should probably get some actual teen stuff in here, like a like notes board or something. Maybe a trophies case. You know, we don't actually have a desk yet and this is a pretty big room or well, you know what i might try to fit some more of these lights in this area like the sofa area it doesn't make sense like where it's hanging from but i think that could be cool so like this teen can invite their friends over and they can like hang out you know what that's kind of cool but it's it's a bit much maybe just over the sofa is good okay yeah there's no oh i haven't even put like a bookshelf in here or anything and this is supposed to be like the reading no Okay, that's better. These shelves look good. I think this area is basically done. Let's move on to here. I'm thinking I kind of want this bit to be on a platform. I think that will just give the room some something interesting. So let's get rid of you guys. I'm gonna put back that pillar just like so. And then this is gonna be like the dressing area. First thing we need is a mirror because there's not one mirror in here and there's so much space. Oh yeah, it's gotta be this one. This one's literally perfect. And then we need stuff for our closet oh my gosh fairy posters get a little tinkerbell okay time for the last bit of the room i don't know how i want to do this all right i figured something out it's not the most functional thing in the world but it, it doesn't look bad okay i think i'm done with this room i'm gonna need you guys to let me know what you think screenshots will be at the end now let's move on to the next aesthetic the next room something that won't be difficult something that I can easily do in game Ooh, minimalist wow this is the, this is so different to the bedroom that I just did a lot of neutrals there's not much furniture okay I can do this now the size of the room is pretty big so it's gonna be pretty empty I'm seeing quite a lot of windows as well okay let's start off by putting some light in here and I already know the kind of flooring I'm gonna do I'm gonna do really light flooring probably something along the lines of this and then the walls a lot of the walls are white just white walls i might actually add um what's that wall design from i think it's eco lifestyle oh wait no it was island living we could do something like this along one of the walls okay we're just gonna keep it like this this is so different to the last room we did wow i want the bed to be against uh, this wall or should we do this wall this time? No, we did this wall last time. Maybe we do this wall. We can also do pretty big windows looking in like that. Damn, look how big this room is. We need a door. So we're gonna use this one like that and let's get some bedside tables. Oh, you know what? I could do something different. I've seen it done in other builds, but I've never done it myself. People will use these that come with dream home decorator and put it along the the bed you know what i'm gonna try it let's try something different let's get out of our comfort zone i'm really hoping a sim can get to that bed you know what i actually really like this it's so different to what i usually do but it's cool i would decorate my sims house like this more often now over here this will be the dressing area I might do another sofa situation here. Oh, we should probably have a desk in this room, actually. You know what? I won't lie. I'm actually really enjoying this aesthetic. Now, the seating area is pretty plain. Um, I was going to add like this and maybe that, but like we're minimalists. We don't need all of that. Maybe just like a little pillow, like a little seat pillow, a little perfect poof. Yeah. Now, two wardrobe dressing area slash desk we might add some more windows actually yeah that's nice some natural lighting you know what? we'll do it on this side because there's already a lot of artificial light coming from all those lights over there so maybe desk could be here a little macbook okay plot would be nice and then this whole area could be for dressing all right i swapped the desk area to here because we did the wardrobe area here last time and i wanted to change up a little bit so the desk area is here the windows are here as well this room is coming along really really nicely all right now in here i want a makeup table 
as well as like a little walk-in wardrobe situation so the makeup table can go right here i'm just gonna make an ordinary table or oh, actually i could use the one from in game oh my gosh what pack does that come in again that comes in a stuff pack vintage glamour stuff looking good looking good and then walk-in wardrobe time what mirror should i get should i just get one of these oh you know what i'll do this one so you can like check out your shoes as well and then similar walk-in wardrobe to the one we did last time all right i'm really happy with how this turned out this entire room this is very mature for a teen however i'm sure there are a lot of teens out there that would really enjoy this room oh my gosh this time i can do the light switch right next to the door it doesn't do anything but it's nice for aesthetics now let's see what our last aesthetic is going to be angel core okay wow angel core is beautiful okay i think we can do this we can't change the ceilings in the sims 4 but it's very princessy soft it's kind of a mix of the fairy core aesthetic and like a little bit of minimalist because the color palette is very light all right let's let's try angel core um first as always let's do the lighting put a few spotlights in here i've actually never done something like this before but something i'm seeing that's quite common in the photos is there is usually not always but usually a window next to the bed so maybe we do the bed over here we haven't done that yet it's very princessy and very feminine so i'm thinking we go full like pink and white honestly this bed's perfect i kind of want to do like a grand entrance so if the the door's here and we have like this bit in the middle where it's like really pretty and cute and then we can do some like pillars these two colors are not the same <laughs> why why don't they have the same colors i've tried like every pillar and none of the colors match it's so frustrating but we're just gonna have to do with what we can so if we have a little entrance and then maybe we can like separate the room a little bit so you enter through here i don't know what like this bit would be we could do the walk-in wardrobe on this side and then here we could do the desk maybe white carpet and pink walls or like peach i really want like a peachy color kind of like this but not for like the entire <laughs> the entire room you know what i'm not mad at this and then we can add some pink accents in there this room i feel definitely needs needs some sort of chandelier i have no clue how this is going to work i might have to scoot the bed along this way and do something like that we do have a triangle bed stand but it just doesn't go with the room it just kind of looks out of place you know what and why it doesn't look too bad am i going too far if i add this i mean it looks good it looks really good in the room should we do the same like canopy kind of thing like we did for the fairy room let's get some plants in here this is from the wedding stories pack it goes really well with the room though oh marble is that angel chorus i'm going to assume so and then we can put like a vintage mirror over it i'm thinking instead of like a normal desk we could do some chess over here we haven't done any like activities in any of the rooms this video so i think chess could be cute i feel like this sim who whose bedroom this is would probably be more likely to play a game of chess rather than play video games online uh, if we have like a tea station we should probably have somewhere to drink the tea when we invite our girlies over i'm actually might save this marble for the like walk-in wardrobe then we're gonna have a little area i think this is a little too shiny yeah i kind of like this yeah and we'll have the mirror here oh my gosh cute and then over here we have chess it looks very bland here you know what i might have to put the chess table on this wall it looks kind of weird because this is here as well okay we're gonna flip it we're gonna put the chess table on this wall and then we're gonna put these bookshelves here because i'm guessing like angel core you probably read quite a lot right i'm just making this up i have no clue this is where we can bring in the marble like end table thingy i'm making this look like the entrance of someone's house this is legit a bedroom okay this room this room's gotta look quite fancy i feel we might make it all pink okay i think it's looking good all it's really missing now is a mirror and i don't think that's the mirror maybe this possible no 
this. Oh my gosh, yes. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. I'm gonna have to play test if a sim can actually walk in here. You know what, maybe just one. Maybe we do it underneath the clothes, yeah. Okay, cute. I think I'm done. I feel like I just made bedrooms for the brats. That's how I feel right now. But okay, currently on your screens, I am showing you guys some screenshots that I took of the rooms. You guys are gonna have to tell me what you think, if I did a good job, and which one is your favorite down in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video.